Hey guys, Richard from Nexacor, and uh, I'm going to be showing you my uh, standard Royal Paladin deck that I've been playing around with. It's uh, I'm calling it an aggro deck just because it's a little different uh, than what most people might want to play, but I've seen deck lists that have been topping in Japan and in other like locals using this type of list, this type of playstyle, so I wanted to show you guys what I've been playing with. So the starter is Glime, as always, Gleam. And for grade threes, this is where it's gonna get, we're gonna start getting right into what I'm talking about. So the deck is running three Alfred early and one copy of King of Knights Alfred. And for the last step for the grade threes, it is four copies of Soul Saber Dragon. So I'll just start going into explaining. So Alfred Early's skill is when it's placed on Van, you can blast one, choose a blaster blade from your hand or soul, call it to rear and it gets 10k. And then if you call the card, draw a card. So the whole point is that, yes, you do have to ride Blaster Blade for this to go off, or basically to get the best out of it. So you want to ride Blaster Blade, or sorry, ride Blaster Blade, then ride Alfred early, uh, get the Force Marker. You could put the Force Marker under early, and then you use uh, early skill count blast, pull out Blaster Blade. Here he is for that 10k. So it's kind of like for the turn, you're getting an additional Force Marker. So you're swinging for 23, um, swinging for 20. And then usually you want to call out Akane over here with uh, Pongol, so it'd be swinging for 21. So for when you're going first, this is supposed to be like a really aggressive push to get in that damage uh, early in. And then you're running three of it because you want to see Alfred early. And if you don't see Alfred early, um, I mean, if you don't see Blaster Blade for Alfred early, you could still call it from hand, still kind of get the same thing. You ride, get a Force Marker, call Blaster Blade. It kind of gives itself a Force Marker for the turn, essentially. So there is some consistency issues that I understand with that, but because um, with, uh, I'll just go in, with King of Knights, Alfred, I still run at one because it's still a good card to, to ride if I don't have Blaster Blade in the soul. It's just other than um, consistently pulling out Blaster Blade and swinging for a big Vanguard number, it doesn't really do anything to help the deck push for the turn. Basically make, making you rely on triggers, so that's never really a good thing. Um, and you're kind of just stalling out till you see Soul Saver and win with that turn. So Alfred's Alfred Early is supposed to help you kind of rush in more, get those bigger numbers. But we're still running one uh, King of Knights, just for consistency. And then uh, Soul Saver Dragon is your win condition for the deck. You're probably going to be winning with uh, 15k to all your rear guards for the turn. So I run it up four because I want to see the card. So uh, Van Skill Act Soul Blast five gives six of your units 15k to the end of the turn. Um, and then when it attacks, you soul charge one, so building up your soul. So riding soul saver is still good um, to build up the soul quick and then win for the turn if you can. Because Royal Paladin's just in a really weird spot, being like a really low tier deck, like lower than tier two, um, you really need to take advantage of that aggressiveness that it can get off, especially if you go first. Um, and since there's a 50-50 chance of you going first, taking advantage of that like push is going to make a difference. So for grade twos, running four copies of Blaster Blade. Um, the deck kind of needs Blaster Blade for the rush, or the aggressiveness, not the rush, for the aggressiveness to kind of push your way in there. Um, it's your search target for King of Knights to help you deck thin, so you want to be running four of it. The skill is when it's on Van, if you have four or more rear guards, it gets a crit. So that can happen if you uh, use Allen and Marin skills correctly. Um, you can, if you have them in your hand, you can get the crit off that help put in more damage early. And then when it's placed, you count us one, so less one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row, retire it. Uh, that skill's helpful against Excel clans that have really good units on Excel markers. Next up, four copies of High Dog Breeder Akane. Akane is your main source of uh, soul charging where it searches out Pongol. It also deck in, so it helps you out there. Uh, the skill works on van or rear, so it's when it's placed, you count plus one. Search your deck for Pongol, call it to rear. And then during the turn that it's boosted by a high beast, this gets 3k, so it swings for 21 by itself when it's boosted by Pongol. So that's really helpful when your opponent's at grade two and you ride Alfred early, call it lost play, call this, swing for 21. So you're, you got uh, numbers that are over 20k, which is really helpful. Next up for grade twos, I'm running three copies of Sage of Arch Jarn. So Jaren's skill is that if you have 
three or more rear guards total, he gets 15k when he attacks the vanguard. So again, to help you push for numbers, so early game, you've got Blaster Blade, Kane, Pongol, maybe you call it Allen, kind of last call out Jaren, you know. So Jaren's still good for the early push. I'm only running it at three just to kind of make space and also because um, it, it is helpful to see it, but I, I feel like I'm comfortable with it at three for now. And lastly, for my grade twos, I'm running two copies of Knight of Silence Galatine. Uh, this is mostly for hand shield and also for um, if I want to throw it down to swing an attack and I can still use it to intercept. So it lets me uh, still be aggressive by calling out units to attack and still having access to shield by intercepting. So it helps me conserve hand and helps me stay in the game longer, essentially. So I'm really comfortable with the two Galatine right now. Next up for grade ones, we're running four copies of Knight Squire Allen. So unlike my other Royal Pod and Deck Profile, I was not running this card at all. I really feel like you definitely should be running four Allen, four Marin, four Pongo for sure in any Royal Paladin deck now, just because it's in a state where you kind of have to, you know, rush. So um, the skill of uh, Knight Squire Allen is when it's placed, you count plus one, call up to one card from your hand with grade less than or equal to your Vanguard, and if you call the card from your hand, you draw and this gets 3k. So you can call it, call another unit anywhere, and you draw a card so it helps you save hand and it gives itself a little power boost to hit um, your opponent's vanguard's numbers a little better. Uh, next is four copies of Marin. Marin is definitely a four of in any Royal Paladin deck, I think. The skill of Marin is uh, when your other rigor in the same column is placed, um, you can bless one, draw a card, and this gets 3k. So it's like Allen where you don't have to call a card from hand, you just have to call Marin. Marin stays on the board, you put a grade 2 here, it dies, you call another grade 2 here, you can use Marin's skill again. So draw engine, helps you fill hand, gets power to hit better numbers. So Marin is a really good card as well. Lastly for grade 1s, uh, only 4 Pongol. So we are only running 12 uh, grade 1s, but that's okay because we're kind of trying to be a little aggressive with our grade 2s. Uh, and I feel like the 12 grade ones is really kind of all you need for the deck. If you feel like you do need more grade ones, you can drop Galatines down as uh, grade ones do have the shield value. Uh, I just like the Galatines more because I like how I can call them, they attack, and I can still intercept with them. Pongo skill is when it's placed. If you have another unit in the same column, this gets, you can soul charge, sorry, and then if you soul charge trigger, this gets 5k. So soul charge ended for soul saver. If you soul charge trigger, it gets a bonus, but sucks because you lost a trigger. But still definitely uh, four of because you're going to run four Akane and you want to see four of your targets. And because you're also pulling out Blast Blade from the soul, uh, seeing these is really uh, important because you're going to, you might be one turn behind in your soul saver turn. So uh, holding onto these uh, helps you uh, get the soul. So you can do the soul saver turn. Triggers are pretty standard. You just do an eight crit, four draw. So four up enough, four flow goal. Four Flash Shield Soul, which is your PG draw trigger. So, it, you know, when you place it from hand uh, to guard circle, you discard one card from your hand, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit till the end of battle. It's really nice that PGs, again, are grade zeros and not grade ones to help you save up room in your grade one lineup. And lastly, four heal triggers because you want to heal so you can win. And that's about it. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of the deck profile so far. Um, it is kind of a weird deck. The whole point is you do have to ride off it early, uh, either call out Blaster Blade from Soul, then get another column going here and start kind of beefing your way up that way. And then later, if you have, you can ride this. Probably not that going to happen that often, but usually you're going to be going into Soul Saver Dragon right afterwards, after this turn. So you're going to, after that, ride this and start building up your soul and kind of using the force markers that you get from these two to start working your way up there. But um, I did enter with this deck in a tournament, and uh, it went pretty okay. I didn't win, of course, but in a second, the my locals has two tournaments in the same day. So first tournament, I did okay. Uh, didn't get in a top three, but the second tournament, I got second place, but there were less people entering. But overall, the deck is okay, but because World Paladin itself is such in a weird position that it's not very competitive. It's really hard to play against these more competitive uh, decks, especially against Oracle Think Tank and all these other Protect Clans that you got to face against with this deck. But other than that, 
that's basically the deck. This is the best way I can kind of get it where you want to push in early and get your damage in as soon as you can. Um, kind of put your opponent in a weird position where they're taking damage really early, especially when they don't, don't have a lot of hand build up defensively as the turns go on. So take advantage of the early game using all these early game cards and hopefully kind of steal a victory going that way. That's kind of how the deck plays. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'll stop talking now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and your comments about my deck. Um, here are my force markers. In case that needed to be said if I run force markers or not. But yeah. Um, hope you guys like the deck. See you guys later. Bye.